students today we are going to talk about atomic structure and its configuration we will discuss that how uh, subatomic particles are present in an atom and uh, how electron configure in an atom but before start discussion if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe and press the bell icon to get more videos okay come to the discussion it is generally considered that atom is made up of smaller constituent particles and these particles are protons neutrons and electrons we also know that protons and neutrons they are present inside the nucleus and uh, electrons they are not present in the nucleus so where they are present according to bohr's model electrons orbit the nucleus as planets orbit the sun moreover protons have positive charge and electrons have negative charge so they attract each other in the same way as planets orbit the sun so it was a review of atomic structure before start configuration you should also learn some terms in order to write the configuration of any atom so these are the shells sub shells or you know orbitals what are shells shells also known as energy level these are the circles or pathways actually these are the imaginary circles or pathways where electrons orbit or revolve and these are drawn outside the nucleus how they are represented they are represented usually by alphabets k l m n and they are numbered as the first energy level that is k k is closest to the nucleus it is the first shell so its number is 1 when we move further away from the nucleus number of energy level increases so the second shell is second energy level is l third energy level is m and we are moving then again further away here we are having fourth energy level its number is 4 let's have a look how many electrons each of these shells can hold the maximum number of electron that the first energy level can accommodate these are two then the second it can hold eight electron then comes third energy level m and then the fourth it can hold 32 electrons so by having a look on the number of electrons we can conclude that the shell which is closest to the nucleus it is having less energy as compared to those shells which are away from the nucleus you can notice that there are only two electron and you know electron is a energy particle and in the fourth energy level fourth shell there are 32 electrons it means maximum is the number of electron more is the energy of a shell now how we can predict that what will be the maximum number of electron uh, into a shell we can use bohr's formula to predict the maximum number of electron that can be fit into a shell in an atom bohr's formula is 2n square so this formula can be applied to find out the number of electrons that a shell can hold let's suppose you have to calculate the number of electrons into fourth energy level let's have a look on fourth energy level you can observe there is no electron in the fourth energy level so what you will do to calculate you just have to apply bohr's formula and you know the number of energy level this is the fourth shell from the nucleus count the number of shell 1 2 3 4 so this is the fourth shell okay fourth energy level number 4 you just have to put this one n value into 2n square formula bohr's formula instead of n you have written 4 and when you will write 4 you have to take square 
after taking square you get expression that is 32. 32 is a number that represents the electrons which you will arrange or which you will distribute in fourth energy level. So Bohr's formula is a formula that is very useful to know to count the number of electrons in any energy level whether it is K or it is N. After shells there come subshells or sub energy levels. What are subshells? Subshell is a subdivision of electron shells separated by electron orbitals. They are labeled as small s, p, d, f in an electronic configuration and each subshell can hold a different number of electron. You should also know that within each subshell there are orbitals. This is the final place or position where electrons revolve. It means that when we distribute the electron in a shell, inside the shell there are sub energy levels or you can say there are energy pockets and these energy pockets are further divided into orbitals. Each subshell has a certain number of orbitals in which electrons are filled. So let's have a look. S subshell, how many number of orbitals in S subshell? There is one. P is having three orbitals. D can have five orbitals and F have seven orbitals in which different number of electrons will be fit. So discuss over here how a subshell can keep the electron or how the electrons will be distributed into orbitals of a subshell. So the first energy level is K and number of electrons that can accommodate in K these are two. What is its n value? It is the first shell that is near to the nucleus. So its number is n. What is the name of the subshell? S. What is the number of the subshell? 1. You should notice over here that the number of the main shell it will be same as the number of the shell. I mean if this is the first shell there will be only one subshell and when we will move towards the fourth shell there will be four subshell. Okay the number of electron that uh, S subshell can hold these are two. Here just a visualization of S subshell and its orbital. This is the orbital of S subshell and uh, this is not the exact way that atom looks like. This is only a visualization to give you a clear concept about the subshell. This S subshell and this orbital, this is not a separate thing that will be present anywhere else. The whole subshell or whole illustration is present in this main energy shell. So let's move towards the second shell. Second energy level or second shell is L. Its number is 2, so definitely it will have two subshell S and P. Second energy level L. How many electrons it can have? It can accommodate 8 electrons. Okay, so its n value count from here. K is the first, so L is the second. Number of subshell 2. Name of the subshell S and P. Now we have to distribute these eight electrons in S and P. I have told you that S can hold only two electrons. You cannot keep more than two electrons in S subshell. So two out of eight place in S subshell. Rest of the six will be in P subshell. Just have a look. This is S subshell. This is P subshell, S having one orbital in which we will place two electrons and these are the three orbitals in P subshell 
which are having six electron six plus two total eight so eight we are having over here in second shell similarly the third shell that is m it will have three subshell again notice the number of subshell that is equal to number of shell okay so third energy level m number of electron that it can accommodate 18 its end value 3 number of subshell spd it is equivalent to this one number name of subshell spd and total number of electron that we have to distribute these are 18 so in s subshell you will place 2 then in p subshell you will fit 6 6 plus 2 8 we are having total 18 so from these 18 8 we have placed in s and p and now there is d subshell in this subshell there are five orbitals and in each orbital you can place only two not more than two so by putting two two electron in five orbital you will get 10 10 plus 6 16 plus 2 18 so total number of electron that can be accommodated in third shell is 18 and here we are having subshell spd along with their orbitals orbitals actually these are the actual positions where electrons revolve and these are having spd different uh, shapes accord according to their energy they are having different dimensions this is only a visualization this is not the actual presentation fourth energy level definitely it's fourth energy level so number of subshell will be four s p d f okay so the fourth energy level can fit 32 electron its n value four and the number of subshell four name of the subshell s p d f as we have discussed earlier that s can hold two electron p subshell can hold six electron t subshell can hold 10 electron so these are 18 but the total number of electron 32 so 18 we have accommodated in s p d the rest of the 14 will go will be fit in an other subshell that is f now how these 14 will be accommodated you can observe that f is a subshell with the seven orbitals in each orbital you can place two two electron so by placing two two electron in seven orbital you get 14 over here 10 in d 6 in p and 2 in s so by counting these number of electron in s p d and f subshell we get in fourth shell 32 electrons we can summarize the lecture that electrons actually revolve around the nucleus in certain pathways these are known as energy levels or shells they are represented with alphabets k l m n they further subdivide into sub levels or subshells sub levels or subshells they are not a separate thing they are present in a shell and subshell further subdivide to give us orbitals so orbitals are those positions or those points at which electrons actually revolve every orbital is having different capacity to hold the electron so you can observe that s is a subshell with one orbital and it can hold two electron p is the subshell with three orbital so total number of electron that it can hold these are six because two in each orbital similarly d is having five orbital and in each orbital we can keep we can just accommodate two two electrons so by putting two two electron in each orbital d can hold total number of 10 electrons 
and when we move towards f it is having seven orbitals two electrons in each orbital so total number of electron that f can accommodate these are seven in this way electrons configured in an atom by revolving in shell subshell and orbital